for somebody who's looking at the young universe, at the early universe, and are talking about God and are agnostic, who do you think is God? Hmm. So I thought you had just like one of the best podcasts with Sam Harris this past summer. And um, one of the things I liked about that conversation is he talked a lot about happiness and meditation. And he said something that's really resonated with me, and I've been working it around and trying to work on it my own way. But he said, like, you can never, you can never be happy. You can only become happy. And I've tried to take it a little bit further than that, because I think it's it's interesting. Like, meditation is like, you're not like, oh, I, I'm happy, and now, like, oh, my kid came in, and now I'm not happy. Like, no, like, you can be satisfied. Kurt Vonnegut said, like, some, you ever catch this? Sometimes, Lex, you're, like, walking around, and you're like, life is freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm happy. And L Kurt Vonnegut said... You should say to yourself every time that happens, like a little mantra, like, if this isn't goodness, if this isn't happiness, nothing is. Mm -hmm. Just remind yourself how mm -hmm. awesome it is, every breath, everything that you do, when you make an impact, even some of the bad stuff that happens, good, it's mm -hmm. good. So Sam said that, and it made me think, because I was like, well, what does it really mean to to be happy? Uh, because like, I can think of, um, I can think of about, you know, two or three ways that right now I could double my happiness. You know, like win the lottery or whatever, like I could double my happiness. There's only a few ways though, right? Like, you know, I had uh, um, this this kind of thought, like how many boats can you water ski behind? <laughs> like you had twice as many followers. Now you got 2 million followers, 5 million, whatever. It doesn't do anything. It's called the hedonic treadmill. Like once you get to a certain level, it takes a lot more, you know, change and followers, money, impact, women, whatever you want to make you have one more quanta of happiness, right? On the other hand, this is a concept from entropy. I can make your life miserable in an infinite number of ways. In other words, there's more space space to make your life unhappy than happy. And so I thought about that in the context of what Sam said about happiness. Um, so it, it's sort of like, yeah, it's an expression of entropy. And that what you should be doing in life is doing that which will cause you devastation if it goes away. Because those are the things that like are where you're reducing entropy, like a kid, like anyone who's a parent knows instantly what I'm talking about, like how to make your life a billion times worse, but there's no way to make your life a billion times better. And so thinking about that, now turning it to the question of God's existence, I feel like there's no way that you can believe in God to quote, misquote Sam, but there's ways that you can be become a believer in God. In other words, you could increase the Bayesian confidence level that there is some, and let's not call it God because that's a freighted term. Let's just call it some infinite source of goodness or our beautiful power in the universe, right? Mm. Simple things can do that. You can increase your credulity in the goodness of life. And we have this bias as humans towards negativity, negativity bias, well-known fact. So what I want to do is, is it, let's call God good, right? That's where it comes from. God, good. Same words in German. And when we think about what is good, let's do those things that would devastate us. And a lot of that could be relationships. And there's a powerful concept from, um, from network theory, which is that, you know, the number of connections in a network you know, I'm just saying it for you. It grows as the square of the elements in the matrix and the number, right? So you think of a matrix with N people, you know, person one, two, three, four, and then there's four other people. There's 16 different pairs, but two, half of them overlap. The diagonal is where you know each other, you know yourself. <laughs> so there's, but that still grows as N squared. So those connections increase and decrease, right? Like you ever have two friends that are fighting? And like, you're kind of upset, even though you're not fighting with either one of them. So like a network grows like that. So you want to increase your network as much as possible, but only the kind of high quality interstices between them. And I think in doing so, you in, you you make yourself fragile, not anti-fragile. And I think that is where purpose and maybe approaching some notion of God can come from. So that is a source of meaning, maximizing the goodness in life and the way you know it's good is if it's taken away, it would devastate you. That's one way. Think about it, your brand, your business, your spouse, your kids. I mean, parents can't count them. I've, I've known parents that have lost. Jim Simons, here's a perfect example. He's one of my oldest friends and mentors. He is one of the richest people on earth. 
Gulfstream, Mega Yacht. <laughs> this is all documented books about him. Um, he lost two sons as adults. And I hear people say, oh, I'm so jealous of Jim Simons. Would you take everything? I don't know where he has that strength and his wife, Marilyn, and his first wife, Barbara. I'm not, I'm not like that. Uh, some people are, there are angels that walk among us. And, you know, I, there's this famous prayer. It's like, you know, uh, God, you know, there's, there's an old saying that like one of the hardest tests there are in life is to be given a lot of money. And you see it like happens with like lawyer, like people that win the lottery or whatever, or NFL football players after their career's over, they get, they're broke, right? And I always go like, God, please test me with money. You know, that'd be great. But, but in reality, you should never say I'm going to, I want what X person has, unless you're willing to take everything. And you'll find you won't want to take everything. 